Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welshie Tech. I'm here with another video for you. This is the Thermalright Assassin King SE Air Cooler and see to see if it's worth you buying. Now, I've got benchmark results as well as we're going to have a little talk about the price, the quality as well as the over my overall opinion on this air cooler. Now, We'll jump in straight to the benchmarks because that's going to be the, the, the main thing that's going to be about this video. So what we're going to do is just jump straight into it and we'll just check the initial results. Now, I did test this with mainly CPU bounded. Um, I have put in no games because this is mainly CPU because it's only connected to your CPU. So um, I have got results of first of all it's Cinebench, Cinebench R20, R23, ADA64 uh, performance test as well as 3D Mark CPU test. Now in Cinebench R20 we had a idle temperature of 32 Celsius then a max temperature was 69 nice um, Cinebench 2000 years later. Cinebench R23 was a 34 Celsius at idle and a 69 degree at max. Nice. Uh, Ada 64 was 33 at idle and max was 74 Celsius. Performance test that was idle at 35. The cooler had time to start warming up. Uh, the max was 70. And then 3D Mark CPU test, it was idle at 35, max was at 65. Now we'll just go into the init my initial thoughts and to see if I recommend it for you to buy. So continue to watch. Right, so as you can see I've got my test bench here. Now this is my brand new test bench that uh, I've just made, I've just created, I've just built. Uh, BeQuad sent me out the, the case, the power supply, and I bought an old motherboard and I repurposed all my old parts from my computer that I just upgraded, like I upgraded the CPU as well as the RAM, so I bought an extra motherboard and I re repurposed it for this initial, for these testings, for air coolers as well as RGB fans. I've just done the Bit Phoenix Spectre ARGB kit from them, so go check that video out. But you've come here to see if the Assassin King SE120 is worth it. Now, what I will say is the difference between these, this and the Burst Assassin, is literally within two to three degrees. That could be a margin of error, but from the amount of testing I've done on the Burst Assassin, it doesn't seem like it. It seems that the Assassin King SE is more than a a more of a budget option type cooler due to the fact that the bottom of the air cooler isn't flat like with aluminium or with a, just a normal copper block. What it is is basically like the old type style they'd have they have the heat pipes going from the bottom, they pull them out, pull them out and then they just flatten off the bot bottom. That is the old style like the Cooler Master Hyper, uh, Hyper 212 is known for. So this is mainly the more budget option of the fan. I will say I do actually like the look of the fan. Now it doesn't look good in big cases. And luckily the 500DX and BQuad isn't big. So it looks really, really nice. Now, yeah, the only RGB aspect to this is the front case. And there's some in the inside. But... What what I want you to represent, this is what this represents, is what it will initially look in your system. Now, as you can see, it's not a massive cooler. It's only a 120 fan, and it's very quiet. Uh, the fan at full RPM is rather loud, but for some reason, that is just something that Thermalright needs to get sorted. I don't know why. Essentially, they have to be loud, but I guess it's because they're not actually silent or optimized. But uh, my initial uh, thoughts of this cooler is it looks very nice. I like the just the basic look of it, just like a basic. It just looks like a basic air cooler, but the thermal right 
quality and branding is there it is a very nice looking air cooler uh, the fan is very nice the overall performance on the 30 a Ryzen 5 3600 yeah if you're doing more CPU bound tests or CPU more CPU bound um, uh, gaming or something that utilizes the CPU more than anything I think that it was gonna uni uh, initially struggle especially if it's a different CPU now if you've got like something on the Ryzen 9, uh, Ryzen 9 5900X or the 5800X or the 5950X or even the new 5800X 3D I think this little cooler will initially start the thermal throttle at a certain point but for the price I believe this is £25 I can't say 100% sure because it's hard to find some of their coolers I can find the PLS Assassin that's a very widely popular air cooler which I have featured and that is a fantastic price to performance CPU cooler. It does go, it does show performance up there with Be Quiet as well as other branded coolers. Now, is this one good? If you're just doing a cheap build and you just want to start off and you thought, ah, might as well, instead of the stock Intel cooler, the stock AMD cooler, and you wanted to go a bit more aftermarket, then yeah, this is a fantastic price for the for this budget. But obviously there is a couple of downsides. It's not exactly the best one out of their line. The Burst Assassin, I just suggest spending a little bit extra and getting that because that has got a bit more quality as well as more of a better look. It's got RGB, of course. You know I, I love RGB, but yeah. Look, that's just my humble opinion. I like any, I uh, so far the Thermaride products I've had, I'm very happy with. They are rather loud when it comes to the fans. That I don't know why. Thermaride, sort it out, please. <laughs> but yeah, so it it gets a thumbs up from me. So this is Richard from Wild Street Tech. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. I leave all the links for this cooler in below as well as Thermaride website. So. I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a fantastic time. Goodbye.